So when we traditionally think about marketing, you're talking about marketing to people and, and you're marketing to people. And, and behavioral marketing is, is for the people. That's, that, that's the real difference. It's about thinking about things from a person's perspective. Uh, not a visitor on your website. The visitors on your website are real people. And we, and we forget that when we look at our marketing automation system, we look at these aggregate numbers, we look at Google Analytics, we forget that they're real people. So behavioral marketing is, is for the people and it's not marketing to them. It's, it's about thinking about their perspective and what makes sense. And uh, that's, that's, and when you, when you do things that, that are good for people, then they happen to buy at higher rates or complete leads at higher rates or, or want to use your service at, at higher rates. And, uh, and we, we've built the business around that, um, being, just being thoughtful to people on your website. All right. It, it makes sense, right? If uh, you're being thoughtful for you know, potential customers uh, and then you're, you're being relevant and timely and all of those things, you know, your conversions are going to increase. Yeah, one of the mistakes I see entrepreneurs, business owners do is they, they get started with a business and maybe they have a few employees that start getting some traction. And now, now they're all of a sudden behind this like mythical wall and they're looking down and, and now they're, they're kind of like all their marketing, their website, their landing pages. It's all about like, hey, where are this, you, you want to be bigger than you are. So like, even when you're a few people, you want to feel like you're 20 people. When you're 20 people, you want to feel like you're 100 people. And, and then you're like, you see how I'm posturing right now with my chest out. Like that's how people's websites and emails are. It's like, oh, we're this big business and big businesses speak, talk down to people. And we, we speak like this, but you kind of, you kind of miss the whole human element. The businesses that, that work the best we really do speak on a, on a human level to people. So like that, that's a big mistake is like people wanting their company to be much bigger than it is. And then their marketing, their marketing, their websites reflect that. And that, it's, it's, it's not a good thing. And, and you lose, you, you don't have a, you, you're, you don't have a personality, your brand, your brand doesn't have its, its own voice. It's just like this like empty corporate shell, like every other company that's not taking off. So that, that's something I, I want people to change. Like even if your mind, like you think you're a 20 person company, or if you're a hundred person company, you think you're a 300 person company. Uh, and, and instead of like acting like a 300 person company, you should act like a one person company where you're in a meeting one-on-one with somebody. And if you are selling someone your, your product or service, that your website, it should be like you're having a one-on-one conversation. And, and actually the, I, what I think is a really good practice is you should record yourself. Say, say you're, you're giving a sales pitch for your company. You asked me about behavioral marketing and, and we're talking about it right now. We've been probably been talking for three or four minutes. If I transcribe these words on a website, it'll be a pretty, be a pretty long website. And we haven't even re- really, really gotten very deep. So what, what I'd like people to do is get, have, Record like a sales conversation. It, it could be a, a mock one, but um, really sell your product or service to somebody and record it and then transcribe and see how long that is. And, and sometimes that's a 20 minute conversation could be in our case, we, uh, we're, we're, an, we're an enterprise product. So it could take, take three, four, five in-person meetings. It could take 40, 50 hours of time with someone for them to spend seven figures to, to, to buy our, our, our software and services. But Whatever, whatever you are selling, um, I would say like have a, have a sit down, record a conversation and then, then transcribe that and see how long that is and make, make, sure, make sure you don't forget about the story and, and the kind of romancing of visitors that, that, that websites don't really have anymore. Everything's about, about kind of brevity and clean and like, oh, let's kind of simplify the landing page so we get the max amount of leads and everyone's focused on this bottom of the funnel, but everyone, everyone forgot about, forget about the story and the humans and the people that are actually on your website.